police telling them to run. When you turn on the television, you can easily be depressed by the violence that you see and the issues that our world is facing. However, if we arm you with a kind, a kind heart, an understanding of how violence really impacts people, you'll be able to create a brighter future for us all. Violence. It's not something we like to talk about, let alone experience. Unfortunately, many of these young people know all about it. My mother was a drug addict and my dad was a drug dealer. And the repercussions of this still affect me till today. Seventh grader Sage Persad is one of two ambassadors selected in the Do the Right Thing Challenge, which asks middle school students to write about how violence affects them and what they can personally do to eliminate it. Events like this are so important because you can't arrest your way out of a crime problem. You need prevention. You need to show the young people of Palm Beach County that the pen is mightier than the sword, that they can do so much to reduce youth violence, not by extracting revenge with their fists or expressing themselves with violence, but by using the pen to express their thoughts and lead the way for other young people. Their essays and poems are candid. Sixth grader, Sessa Gilliam, was removed from her biological family at age six due to severe abuse and neglect. Now, she's in a forever home where, as she writes, she has learned kindness instead of violence. It tells the kids that they're, they, they're not the only ones that have experienced this, and I'm glad that um, they get to know that they're not alone in this. As this year's ambassadors, Sessa and Sage will represent Palm Beach County in Washington, D.C. this summer, where they will discuss youth violence. The effort has the support of the school district, area businesses, and law enforcement. It's important to the sheriff's office because our biggest fight every day is fighting the gangs because they're responsible for violent crime, drug sales, but they recruit our kids. And we can't do this alone, so we need partners. We need the school people, we need private citizens, parents, we need everybody to get in this fight against the gangs. So this is one piece of the puzzle. Sometimes the violence is more subtle, the act of a bully preying on someone unwilling or unable to speak up. Violence is really hard to talk about. In fact, a lot of people would prefer to just you know, push it under the rug and not talk about it. And I'll tell you, it never ceases to amaze me when I read what these children have to say and what they have experienced and what they have lived through. It's really mind-boggling. I don't know where they find the courage and I don't know where they find the strength. But when you have that kind of resilience, you have to champion it. Javon Denard, a finalist who started a teen violence awareness club, says the first step begins with someone who's willing to speak up. If you see something violent happen, don't just let it happen. Bullying is the biggest thing in school. There's always going to be bullies. So if you see somebody being bullied, don't just watch, report it, and get that person help. Words from brave young people urging everyone to do the right thing. Kate Wentley reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed.